All right, you're still watching Ways World Lindy Hop Day. <laughs> it was established to commemorate dancer and choreographer Frankie Manning, who many people considered to be one of the main um, creators of this unique style of dancing. Now, the day is celebrated on May 26th in honor of Frankie Manning's um, birthday. You said Lindy, Lindy Hop? <laughs> 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 no, I cannot Lindy Hop, but I mean, if you watch like all the old movies, um, Dancing in the Rain, I'm sorry, Singing in the Rain, um, Idaho, like all those sort of old movies in those days when we had real musicals, of course, Lindy Hop was a big thing, but um, I, I just, I think this type of style of dance is lost. Um, is it? It is, yeah. It's, it's, mm. it's, it's very much a, it's, it's a very it goes with the flow of the music. style mm. and it goes with the music, so... I think the closest thing that I can think of in recent times, do you remember, um, what's his name's music video? Step in the Name of Love, R. Kelly? Do you remember the mm -hmm, side to side, mm -hmm. yeah, that kind of thing, right? But I think we don't have, this is the kind of dance today that you'd probably have a themed event, mm. then you would have that kind of but dance. But a lot of weddings do the traditional, especially if, um, I see some Nigerian where they're trying to copy it sometimes, not the entire way, but <laughs> the yeah, old we, school. We have all kinds of, kind of steps there, yeah. the, what's it called, electric slide, yeah, electric shuffle, slide, yeah. the baccarina. I mean, all those kind of slides. So that's why I said that if you're going to do like a Lindy So pop, you can actually do a themed yes, party. Yes, so you would have like a theme party because it's, it's that kind of, let me see if I get my errors right now. It, it's like the 60s, I think, where people had the short skirts with the socks and mm -hmm. they're flipping the girls and all, way, all yeah. of that. that so, was, yeah. That's some good aerobics. Uh, yeah, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what did so, you find for us in the news? Well, well, well. Confusion, discussions, fights, and people almost beating themselves. My headline says, FG, the federal government, declares May 29th a work-free day. Um, the Minister of Interior, Raul Farouk Weshala, has, in a statement today, um, said that to mo uh, Monday, 29th of May, will be a work-free day for all workers in the country to commemorate the inauguration of President-elect Bola Tinubu. Of course, enjoining all Nigerians to continue to support and promote democracy through adherence of law for peace and all that wonderful stuff. What I like, or why I found this story interesting is, it's not a public holiday, folks. It's a work-free day. Now, I've been in some interesting conversations in the last few hours where it's almost like two sides of the device. CEOs are like, me, I'm going to open. Workers are like, woohoo, work free day. <laughs> <laughs> so, so at this point, um, I don't know if this is strategic confusion or this is like, we don't want to add another public holiday because, you know, May 29th was official, then they moved it to June 12th. So now we're coming back to May 29th for this event. So let's just be ambiguous and call it a work free day. So you subject to interpretation. Shall you work on the day or not? On we are shall working. Ah, all these ah, people are talking. See the CEOs? We are working. You just made my point. Yeah, you, ah, will, ah. you will be all right. Ah, you don't understand. We are looking for money. And if you are telling us a uh, work free day. <laughs> That's exactly so, why they called it a work, work free day. So that you can't complain. Really? Yeah. No, I'm complaining. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I think, though, um, it's... Um, it's, um, it's history that is going to be made. For mm. every time a new leadership is being sworn in, yeah. right? It's um, almost like there's so much uncertainty. Mm -hmm. People are not sure what's going to happen. Mm. Um, so it, it's actually supposed to be a day where everybody should be, like the way um, the king um, was coronated um, in, yeah, um, in king the Charles. UK, yeah. uh, King Charles, right? Everybody, they came out on the streets, you know, they were excited, chanting and all of that. This is the kind of, as no, I'm saying that that is why that's what it, should be. it should look like because mm. it's, it's supposed to be a day where people should be able to see their president being sworn in and all of that because it's mm. supposed to be a day in history, right? Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, again, with all the drama happening with the military um, chiefs saying that if you have no business in Abuja, it's, like it's going to be a fight, a war zone and all of that, they should just let us go and be walking in our office and be watching it from the <laughs> Nico. Ah, that's it, it, it is a trying time. I mean, yes, it should be a day of celebrate. It should be a day that we do commemorate, actually. But I think that there's a lot of context behind this particular day. So you can sort of see everybody's version. So, mm. you know, in terms of security, in terms of the tension, I mean, all of that. But 
I, on a personal note, just pray for a peaceful day. Absolutely. Mm. That's all we are asking for. Uh, yeah, yeah. Don't go and do pass yourself <laughs> on that day. So, I mean, so this story that I'm trying to understand, mm -hmm. I think it just caught my attention. It's something around manufacturers, right, saying that um, they have, like, dead stock, mm -hmm. and that dead stock is worth, a um, billion dollars that, you know, people, first of all... Local manufacturers here? Yeah, local manufacturers. Mm. So it was said by the manufacturers, the president of the Manufacturers Association, I think, of Nigeria, mm -hmm. if I'm not correct. The director general of Manufacturers Association of Nigeria. Mm -hmm. um, that's um, Shegun Ajayi Kadri. He says, you know, um, what they are facing right now is, you know, they have stock of unsold goods that is worth one billion naira. Wow. You know, and this report was, you know, done um, at the end of 2020 by Bloomberg, right? Um, it's saying that, and they can actually attribute this to the purchasing power, mm. right, in the economy, right? Con um, flow, um, following con continuous increases in inflatory pressures and, uh, you know, mm. and of course, why I'm actually even taking this story, because yesterday mm. we had talked about whether Nigeria has progressed, you know, under the president, right? Mm -hmm. So while we applaud some of the good things that the president, mm. Muhammadu Buhari, did, right? We need to understand that um, these are the realities, right? These are the realities of what we're facing as a people. Mm -hmm. um, now, this already means automatic loss for a lot of businesses, right? Um, so when we, when we want to channel, and I'm hoping that the new administration is really, really proactive when it comes to really being deliberate about a productive and a prosperous economy. Um, because again, there are so many things that shows the body language to say, okay, you know what, we really want to make money. Like things that has to do with real, um, what's it called, Enable, enablement that would bring in uh, forex, where we're exporting things. So those kinds of conversation is what we are really hoping for, you know, to get, change the, the, the status quo. For people that are manufacturers, how are, the, how are their businesses being helped by the government? You know, so being very, just be deliberate to make sure that, okay, we're not experiencing losses, you know, there are just so much that the government is doing in that direction to make sure that these businesses are sustained because these are the employers of labor. These are the people that, you know, are making sure that we don't have wholesome madness in this country because, yeah, yeah I mean, they're able to absorb a lot of workforce. Yeah. So let us make um, business, ease of doing business for them really good. I mean, I, I just hope to see, um, I'll, give, I'll give this administration or the outgoing administration one thing. A lot of work was done policy-wise, um, redrafting, changing policies, updating policies. Um, one of the ones I think that came out sometime in the first quarter of the year, it was largely overshadowed by the cashless policy issues, um, where I think about 27 different acts um, were all sort of reviewed and revised and all of that. So a lot of work has been done in terms of laying the groundwork. It's now just hoping that this incoming administration won't do the same thing that usually happens. You just come and you sweep the slate clean and you say you want to start again and you take us back eight years. So I hope they can build on the foundation that's been laid because if you notice in the last few weeks, the president has been signing all sorts of bills and, and all of that. So a lot of groundwork has been laid. I just hope that they take advantage of it and they make the right decision. Some of the conversations that I've had in the last couple of days centers around the fact that it might seem like as Nigerians, we are, we don't actually ask for a lot. If you take us in comparison to a lot of other countries, we are only asking for the basics. We are used to looking after ourselves, right? Just don't make give sure that me you, yeah. what I can get for myself. Just Absolutely. give me an enabling environment. Imagine a Nigeria and with allow 24, me fend for myself with twenty four seven mm -hmm. power. Mm -hmm. You don't need to do a lot more because as Nigerians, we're resourceful. We have the capacity, right, to create wealth for ourselves. So. All we just need is really, and when I say enabling environment, I'm not looking for bells and whistles. I'm not look, like literally just give us light. Mm. If you want to be kind, add good roads to it, and we'll sort ourselves <laughs> out. <laughs> I'm telling you, and we'll sort ourselves out. So, um, as a people, we're resilient, we're resourceful, mm. and I just hope that this admin, this administration really gets that, and they can try and hit the ground running with a few things. Don't try to do everything; just do a few things that will really make a difference in the lives of Nigerians. Absolutely, it will be a completely different story. Absolutely. Okay, so on that note, let's take a break. When we come back from that break, let's discuss networking, and we have our guest with us. Stay with us. We'll be right back.